Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, back again with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Sergio Oliva's chest and back workout. Uh, I resourced this workout from the booklet I bought off eBay. Uh, it was like 12 bucks, it's called The Myth, The Legends, Sergio Oliva on tour. All right, so with that being said, let's get down into it. All right, so the warm up before the actual workout begins is bench press, superset it with dips, around 20 to 30 repetitions. Now he doesn't specify how many sets of warm up he actually does, but there are some key trains philosophies that I found in the book. I was able to note them down. Number one, he used a short range of motion with any exercise he did, the chin ups, the bench press, the dips. It says in the book, no more than five or six inches off his chest when doing the bench press. Now. This type of technique is used to keep constant tension on the desired muscle. In this case, it's the pecs. So that's why he limits his range of motion because if he does any more, then he starts to bring the triceps into play. Second thing, he trained with a rapid pace, meaning he lifted the weights pretty quickly. And last thing is he never went to failure. He, it always looked like he could always do about three more reps in that set. All right, cool. Now that we finished with the warm up and we went over some key points, let's get down to the real workout. All right, so I've given you the schematic form of the workout, but I actually wanna read you the whole monologue that is in this book because um, there's, just, there's some interesting details in here that I that I left out because just I'm, I like to simpl simplify things and you know give them straight to the point, easy to read, easy to follow. And I'm gonna just go ahead and read out, read this little uh, couple. It's a, it's a couple paragraphs, maybe like about um, maybe uh, six to eight paragraphs, and just you guys can get the full experience. You know, I know you guys don't have the book. I do. I want to share the whole thing with you. Uh, I think this will be pretty cool. So let's get started. As I walked out, Sergio was warming up. He was doing chest and back. He started by doing bench press su supersetted with dips. He would do the benches in a very short range of motion no more than five to six inches off his chest done in a in a very fast rapid movement he did 135 first and must have done 20 to 30 repetitions he would wait about two minutes and then head to the dip bars and do the dips in a similar fashion he would sink all the way down and only come halfway up he did about 20 reps in this fashion that seemed to be the theme benches for 15 to 20 reps rest then dips the same way he went up to 365 on the benches and still made 12 to, 12 to 15 rapid reps, then rest, then dips. This went on for about 8 sets. He rested for a few minutes and talked to his workout partner. He then went to the chin bar and started repping out on the chin bar. He did chins, chins similar to dips. He would go most of the way up, but not all the way down. There was still bend to his arms at the bottom. He did at least 20 to 25 reps. He rested then did dumbbell pullovers with no more than 80 pounds. He did these in a similar fashion. He let the dumbbell go he let the dumbbell go back for a full stretch, then only brought it over his forehead, then back down. Again, he did higher reps. He did he did this countless times, at least six to eight sets. Next, he did inclines on the Smith machine. Again, very short movement, and he combined the inclines with TY rows. I cannot tell you the weight since I don't know the Smith's weight. Or remember the place on the t-bar but reps again were high and the arms were never straightened all the way down on the t-bars four sets apiece he stopped and changed shirts in the gym since his were soaked he said to his partner that he wanted to do more dips he went back over and pumped out at least five more sets of dips he followed these up with the behind the neck pull downs each 20 to 25 reps on most of the exercises by the way he never went to failure and looked as though as he could have done two or three more reps on each exercise. And there you have it, folks. The Sergio Oliva chest and back workout. Um, bear with me for the uh, times I actually uh, kind of stumbled when I was reading. Um, hope you enjoyed it still. But there's one thing I want to say before I end the video. All right, so this workout, people look at it and the first thing they're going to say is, uh, well, if they're smart enough, they're, they're gonna know this this type of routine is way too much for a natural bodybuilder I, I definitely agree I think this is way too much volume for a natural bodybuilder but I'm not advocating this workout what I'm doing is just that this is for the novelty you know kind of like so people can see it and they can learn about what he did when he was training you know he did the rapid movements you know he did the uh, short range of motion and he never went to failure that's just that's just for like history purposes. I'm not saying people should do this workout. 
and a lot of the other routines that I actually uh, have posted on my channel too, like the routine by uh, Frank Colombo, the full body routine. Um, people are always commenting like, oh, that's way too much volume. And I definitely agree. And I did try and I did think it was a lot of volume because it, it is. And it's pretty hard to get through that one, that workout too. Um, the other one is the Steve Reeves Mr. Universe routine. That one's a, a lot of volume too. That's, that's tough. I don't recommend anybody doing those routines. I mean, if they are, probably just cut the volume down in half because, I mean, damn. Steve Reeves did about um, nine sets for like a... Uh, a body part so that, i mean that's 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 a lot of volume and then frank colombo uh that one has a lot of volume in it too uh, but i i never really advocated that people should do it it's just kind of like for the novelty and it's like if you want to try it try it i'm not saying you should be doing this i i do encourage people to do full body routines but i'm not saying do the ones i'm posting on here like some of the ones that i personally do you can try those because those are pretty decent but the ones by like you know steve reeves Frank Colombo. That's just that's way too much volume, but the one by Steve Johnson that I posted um, a couple weeks back, that one that one's pretty doable. Like I said, you know, like you don't have to do all the stuff that I put on my channel. It sometimes is just there for novelty for you to study, um, but at the end of the day, you gotta rationalize and uh, come up with your own decision whether you should try this or not. You know, just think about it. But um, some of the videos I do, they're just mo mainly for views, like um, like this one. And the other one that I posted about is calf routine. These videos are, are mainly just for views to attract viewers to my channel. So when they see a video, they're like, oh, should you Oliva? That sounds interesting. I want to see this. And then they see another um, video of mine and then it keeps going and, and then it attracts more people. That's just what some of these videos are for. Yeah, this is a natural body. I think this is a natural, somewhat of a natural bodybuilding channel. Um, but it is an old school channel as well. So that means I have to present old school stuff and on top of that um stuff that also applies to natural bodybuilding so yeah i hope you guys uh got that uh message because i don't want to be sending out the wrong message like 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 old school dan's giving out uh these impossible full body routines or these routines to do like how does he expect his viewers to do these and and i don't so i hope you guys understand with this message um with that being said thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this uh, give this video a like. I'm old school Dan. I'm gone. Peace.